Okay, so uh, we've got our end screen where it's able to load the user score. We've got the disabling and enabling of the save button based on having input in there. So that's now it's enabled. Now we need to actually figure out how to save uh, high scores into uh, an array of high scores into uh, local storage. So the first thing we want to do is, or first thing I think you need to understand is that uh, local storage only uses key value pairs with the value being a string. So anything that you store in there is gonna be a string. So if I tried to, if I tried to set local storage set item, if I tried to set high scores to an empty array, it's not going to like that. Uh, so you can see, I don't know if I'll get an error or not, but notice high scores doesn't actually have anything in there. And if I do a, if I console log, uh, the opposite of this local storage get item, high scores, I, I guess what it will do is just show me an empty string. Yeah, it looks like it's just showing me an empty string. So uh, it's just important for you to understand that things in local storage are stored as a string. So we can actually still work with arrays, we just need to convert them into a JSON string before we do. So if I wanted to uh, to convert uh, an array or anything to uh, JSON, I could do JSON stringify. And if I do this, notice that uh, this becomes a string in here. So it's saved as a string that looks like an empty array. And in the console, I should get an empty array back. Now, this is still a string though. So this, that's, this thing that's coming out of here is a string. So to convert that into an actual array, you could do uh, json.parse. So this is what we're gonna use is uh, json parse and json stringify. So now if you look at uh, the console log, we're actually getting an array object out of local storage, so pretty cool. So the first thing we want to do is get a reference to our high score, so const high scores. And this is, I'm gonna change this a little bit. This is actually gonna be the get item. And we want to get the high scores, but remember we need to do the parsing. So JSON parse, all right. And then let's just uh, log this to be sure so that we can get a reference to all of these things. All right, so this is actually uh, printing this out if we didn't have anything in local storage. So you're running this application for the first time. If I got rid of this key value pair and ran this again, you'll see what actually happens in the console. It returns null, right? Because there's no item in here called high scores. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna get what's in local storage, or if that returns null, we're just gonna get an empty array because we're doing it for the first time. This will go ahead and initialize our empty high scores array. All right, so we've got, a, got an array of high scores here. Now what we're gonna do inside of our high score is we're going to uh, create a score object that has a score. Um, so it's actually gonna reference the most, uh, most recent, gosh, most recent score. All right, and then it's also gonna have a name which we're gonna get from the username value. All right, so let's log score so you can see what this looks like. Okay, so let's type in uh, James Q quick, let's save. And we should see now this is the object getting printed out. So this is what we wanna actually add to our array. So we will say high scores dot push and we'll push on this new score. And then let's log the high scores array. Okay, so let's uh, type in a name here, James quick, save. Uh, inside of here, you'll see that. If I change it to Jess, for example, save again. Now we have two things in here for high scores. And that's fine. So now typically what would happen is you would save your score and then get navigated away uh, to basically back to the home page. But the one thing we're missing here is we don't necessarily know that this score is gonna make the, the list, the top, and we're, we're just gonna save the top five scores. So we don't necessarily know that uh, that the score is automatically high enough to make it onto that list. So what we're gonna do is we're going to basically add our score to the list, then we're gonna sort our list, then we're going to cut off anything greater than five. So if we have five items and we add on another one, 
we will sort it and then cut off the last one because we're going to sort based on uh, decreasing score. So the highest score is going to be first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Anything uh, below that is going to just be cut off. So I actually spent a lot of time kind of fumbling around figuring out how to do this and then came up with a, a really pretty simple example uh, or pretty simple way to do it that I will share with you now. So by default, we're going to go ahead and push on this new score. Then we're going to call high scores dot sort. And this is a uh, function uh, built in JavaScript for arrays where you can define your own um, sortation algorithm. And what you're what you're trying to do is you're returning uh, either less than zero or greater than zero. So for us to uh, for us to sort these in highest to lowest, we want to take the B score, which is the second uh, parameter that we have, and subtract the A score. So this is basically saying if the B score is higher than the A score, then put B before A. Uh, so if you've seen these kind of functions with, um, with arrays and using arrow functions, you might also know that there's an implicit return. So you don't actually have to have the return and you, then you don't have to have the brackets and you don't have to have the semicolon. So all in one line, we can sort this array uh, by uh, doing this line here and it's gonna sort it by score. So that will give us uh, a sorted array, which might have more than five, which might have more than five scores. So let's create a variable. So uh, we'll call this max high and set it equal to five. So now we want to take our high scores array and we want to splice at the uh, fifth index. So this is basically saying at index five, start cutting off everything after that. So uh, let's, let's see what we got here. Let's say we have James, we have Hess, <laughs> we have Jess, we have Jessica, we have Lily, and now we've got five. So what should happen is if I try to add Sevi, it will cut off uh, the last one. It'll cut off that Sevi and uh, it'll keep the maximum amount of scores at five, which is great. Now, the only thing we're not able to check yet is whether or not the, the scores are actually being done in order. So let's, uh, instead of just grabbing the most recent score, let's do a math.random and multiply that by 100. So this should give us a, and we can floor this to get an integer math.floor. All right, so let's, let's save this, let's try again. So let's start with uh, James gets a score of what, 82, that's not bad. Jess gets a score of uh, 38, which is not as good. Lily gets a score of uh, 39. So notice these are now in order, which is good. Uh, Sevi gets a score of 45. So notice they're still in order. And then uh, Padfoot, and these are my dogs that I'm, I'm running through here. Will uh, Padfoot is right here at 40. Now, if we try to add another one, let's say I play again and I do James again and save. Now we should have kicked out somebody. So either looks like my score would have been whatever the lowest one was. <laughs> so my name got kicked out. If I try this again, I might get a higher score than Jess. And now Jess would be bumped out and I moved up to here with 42. So that high score system is working and it actually uh, becomes pretty simple. So basically the, the idea here is you, you go ahead and add the score to your array, you sort it, and then you splice out any of the extra ones. Now the last thing we need to do, well the two things, is we need to update our local storage. So local storage set item, we need to update the high scores and we want to uh, update it with our high scores. But remember we need to uh, stringify this uh, into JSON so that it can be saved as a string in the high scores. So we'll save that. Uh, let's go ahead and get a couple of scores into our high scores, just so you guys can see this. So let's say James uh, gets whatever score, what is that, 93, that's pretty good. Uh, let's refresh and notice now that uh, when I get the high scores originally, it includes my score. So that's actually permanently, be, permanently being saved. Now I can add Jess and do a refresh. I, says, I should see, again, Jess is pretty bad and I'm pretty good. <laughs> Uh, 93 and 30, so those are being persistent. Now the, the very last thing we'll do here is uh, when we get done with this, we want to 
uh, window, location, assign, and we just want to go back home. So let's go to uh, slash, uh, actually I think we could just do slash maybe. All right, so we have, and I can get rid of, clean this up a little bit by getting rid of this console log and this console log. And so let's say James, oops, James, save the score and go back home. So the next step here, let me double check my notes here. The next step is to actually create the high score page, which will load those high scores out of there. So that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.